y'all. Welcome to our little Instagram live situation. If you're tuning in on Instagram, you can see that I probably just woke up. Or maybe I always look like this. You don't know. Um, yeah, so we just kind of wanted to tune in. Hi, friend. We wanted to tune in and kind of check in on everyone, offer some space. Um, I actually haven't eaten breakfast yet, so in you know, light of all the self-care things, I'm making myself some pancakes, which I will do after this is over. Uh, but I got the mix started so that, you know, I also prioritize my body and my health and feeding myself because, oh, you know, we can stressfully Twitter scroll all day long. And for me in particular, uh, yeah, that doesn't help my eating habits or anxiety. So I'm making pancakes currently. Um, as you join, if you want to say your name and your pronouns, um, my name is Lauren and my pronouns are she, her, hers. Um, I may try and sit outside in this little side yard we have while I do this, um, you know, because the sunshine is nice and things and it's nice to see the sun. This is my blue door. Um, and yeah, so let me see what we've got here. I just wanted to do a check-in, names and pronouns. If you want to share any um, prayers or thoughts that you have during the time, you know, during the stress and anxiety and just the unsureness, basically, of what we're, what we're in the middle of and uh, how we deal with it responsibly and caring for each other and all that. Um, so yeah, even if you're tuning into this later, please, please, please feel free to send us uh, prayer requests or like, you know, if you don't call it prayer or whatever you call it, um, send us your thoughts, send us your feelings. Uh, we want to be space for you to interact with us. Um, another good place to do that too is Twitter. You can always DM us or at us. You know, however you say it. Um, but yeah, I wanted to share a little bit today about some things that are giving me hope um, and then things to be aware of as we're all learning more and more about what to do or not to do. Um, but first, things that are giving me hope, which is basically just like, you know, a lot of funny Twitter um Twitter posts and like cool Twitter things that people are doing. Hi, if you want to share your names and pronouns uh, as you join, that's cool. Right now I'm just sharing uh, things that give me hope in this time uh, before we start a meditation. Uh, also, I'm making pancakes, which are going to be done after I do this, <laughs> but make sure to feed yourselves too. Um, let's see, one tweet that really made me laugh because I think laughter super important right now um this person at Michaela Okla they said do not go to a man's home for a hookup right now you could get quarantined there and they don't even have sheets they definitely won't have toilet paper maybe one bag of hot pockets a can of Cheeto puffs that's all you'll have is that what you want <laughs> uh I thought that tweet was hilarious um and, you know, we need to laugh during this time, too, because we need to laugh. It's very helpful for our immune systems and our hearts and all those things. Um, another thing that someone shared that gave me hope was this really great insight and thought. They said, do you want to dispel that panicky feeling? This is from Eric Bogossian. He said, you want to dispel that panicky feeling? Call someone you know who is living alone and tell them you are there for them. Uh, tell them if they feel sick or need anything, you are there for them, then you won't feel so anxious. Um, I think one of the harder parts of this whole thing for us is that we're trying and want to show up for each other and be in community with each other, but we can't do that so much uh, physically right now um, for those of us who are you know, trying to stay home as much as we can and all that. Um, and so I thought that was a great, uh, 
advice, a great piece of advice for us to think about, like if you know old folks um, or folks that live alone and who might not have access to community in the same way, reach out and text them, see if they're okay with a phone call and just check in. I mean, this is what we're doing here with this Insta Live video is just kind of like giving sp some space for all of us to check in with each other, to say hi. Um, like I said, if you have prayer requests or if you don't call it that, but if you have thoughts that you want to share that you want us to give space to, please comment here or DM us either here or on Twitter and we will absolutely make space for those. Um, yeah, and so that was, that was another tweet that, that gave me hope. Um, someone else on Twitter is doing this thing called Netflix and Stay Still. It's, that's their hashtag, Netflix and Stay Still. And so she has, uh, she's this uh, black woman organizer who has curated uh, movies that you can watch as you stay in. So if you want to go to the hashtag Netflix and Stay Still, you can find some movies to watch um, and comment and join along with the community there. Um, some things to be aware of, which I wanted to go into for a second too, is that, um, yeah, like there's, there's things we're laughing about and things I'm sharing here that have made me smile. Um, and also if you are going out to eat, just make sure that you're tipping those uh, workers really well because chances are they don't have the chance to, you know, stay home, uh, which is where I'm gonna be at. I have work starting tomorrow, so I'll be going into work. Um, but yeah, just assume that they want to be home but can't because our bills aren't going to get paid from teleworking or anything like that. So just keep in mind your freelancers, um, your folks that work gigs, stuff like that. Um, yeah, yeah. So that's just something to be aware of. And I think that's all the funny stuff I read recently. If any of y'all have read some good tweets or have funny things to share or want to comment on anything, um, <laughs> please comment on things. Uh, last thing that gives me hope, which is just really simple um, for me, is plugging in my colorful Christmas lights. Uh, I don't know what it is or, yeah, I don't know what the phenomenon is. I don't know what it sets off in me, but it just feels so warm and cozy and um, I love I love the feeling of it. It makes me feel calm almost instantly. So I plug in my Christmas lights. Uh, I've been plugging them in most nights since all this has happened. Uh, yeah, and just share kind of what you're doing to, you know, to stay calm, to um, ease your stresses. What are you doing to care for yourself? Feel free to, you know, comment in the in the comments area there. And now, I want to do what I've been doing for the last few days, which is, let's see, reading from the Book of Awakening, is by Mark Nepo. And let's read the March, what day is it? It's March 14th. So this one is called Ancient Friends. Um, and I didn't turn on, I started making pancakes, but I don't think I turned on the stove. Oh, okay. No, I don't think I turned on the stove. <laughs> These are important things to check. Um, but yes, today's meditation is from the Book of Awakening by Mark Nepo. It's the March 14th entry, and it's called Ancient Friends. The quote uh, from the beginning of this little meditation says, uh, one climbs, one sees. One descends, one sees no longer, but one has seen. There is an art in conducting oneself in lower regions by memory of what one has seen higher up. When one can no longer see, one can at least still know. And that's a quote from Rene de Maul. And again, the title of this little meditation, hi, is called Ancient Friends. And so I'm reading through, this is kind of something we can uh, reflect on and kind of think through as we're all, you know, figuring out how to deal with staying home or if you're like me and you have to show up to uh, 
work to get, you know, paid and pay rent, which is not frozen yet. Um, you know, just to take care of yourself and to take care of your stress and your anxiety, to check in on folks who might be alone and to not forget to laugh, right? Um, so I read some funny tweets earlier and I might read another funny one at the end. Uh, but this meditation goes as follows. In the 700s, in the Tang Dynasty in China, the poet Li Po wrote what is now a famous poem called Letter in Exile. It is for his, quote, ancient friend, So Kin, of Rakuyo. In the poem, we learn that the two have been deep, lifelong friends, though they have only been together a handful of times. By the end, Li Po is awash with his old friend's presence. It quotes him and says, what is the use of talking? And there is no end of talking. There is no end of things in the heart. We are moved to ask how it is possible. These two friends have spent more time apart than together. Yet, the presence of a friend like this can shape one's entire life, even when they are not physically with you. If blessed, we have one, or maybe if wealthy in blessings, two friends like this during our time on earth. It's as if Li Po and So Kin are stars in each other's constellation, brief but enduring points of light. The difficulty then has always been how to make it across the dark from point of light to point of light. This is the province of faith, the preservation of presence even when we are not with each other or when we are not lighted. This friendship itself is a metaphor for another kind of friendship, our lifetime friendship and kinship with truth, capital T, with love, capital L, with unity, with God, with the universe. Like Li Po, without so, so kin, we may spend much of our time unaware and unenlightened, yet the presence of truth and God in the universe like a deep and ancient friend can shape our entire lives. So the inner task becomes, how do we make a lasting friendship with the universe, with God, with the unities that are larger than us? How do we keep their light in our heart when no stars appear in sight? The meditation points for this uh, day, each day has its little meditation bullet points. And so the points for today are as follows. Breathe deeply and recall one special moment of truth in your life that has guided you over the years. One special truth, you can think of one special friend, you can think of someone who's been constant with you, who's shown up for you. The next point says, breathe lovingly and bring this truth into view. Bring it into your chest, bring it into your body. Let your body know this feeling of truth, of companionship. The next point says, smile and bow to this truth like an old friend you haven't seen in years. And then the last point says, pray to it or give space to it with gratitude. Oh, so that is the meditation for today. Um, I also wanted to, let's see, what time is it? Okay, we're about there. I also wanted to offer um, a loving kindness meditation, which is, <sighs> loving kindness meditations are uh, from the Buddhist tradition and they are and have been really healing for me personally. They're basically making space for compassion, extending compassion to ourselves in our anxiety and our stress and our conflicts internally and extending compassion to others. Um, so yeah, I'll, what I'll do is I'll make a separate, um, I'll make a separate post on our podcast with the full loving kindness meditation. But what I'm going to do now is just offer you the phrase that it repeats as you breathe deeply. So I'm new to Buddhism personally, but I'm really finding a lot of space and holiness in it myself. Um, and the idea is, 
meditation in terms of like centering yourself, breathing in through your nose and out is that you're breathing in awareness to your breath. So you're being aware of the fact that you're alive and that there's breath entering your nose and going into your lungs and you're breathing out awareness of that. And it's really centering for me. If I'm having like an anxiety attack or a panic attack, it's not the most helpful. Sometimes I get really annoyed and I'm like, F that, you know, I don't, I don't want to do that right now. But if I'm in a lower anxious state where like I'm still feeling anxious but I want something to kind of like soothe me a bit and like bring my heart rate down, it is very helpful. Um, and so the phrases for these are, um, as you're saying it to yourself, you can say, may I be happy, may I be well, may I be comfortable and at peace. And this is you saying this, this prayer, this thought, this, this presence to yourself and really making space as you breathe in and breathe out. And you repeat these words to yourself. May I be happy. May I be well. May I be comfortable and at peace. And the way the loving kindness meditation works is you continue this deep breathing, this awareness of breath coming in and going out. And then you extend this compassionate thought to other people. So you start, you say, may I be happy, may I be well, may I be comfortable and at peace. And then you say this to your loved ones and you say, may you be happy, may you be well. May you be comfortable and at peace. Always practicing this like deep breathing so that you're aware of breath coming into your nose, going into your lungs, and just making space for your breath, for your compassion, for your good intentions for folks, right? So as we do this, I'm gonna read through those. So center your awareness in your body in your chest, breathe in and out and repeat these words to yourself as you're breathing in, as you're paying attention to your body. May I be happy, may I be well, may I be comfortable and at peace. May I be happy, may I be well, may I be comfortable and at peace. And now if you think of your loved ones, your friends, your family, your however you define those things, as you breathe in, repeat this phrase to yourself, may you be happy. And I say this to you all, may you be well. May you be comfortable and at peace. And then you extend it to acquaintances, to folks that you might have conflict with. May you be happy. May you be well. May you be comfortable and at peace. And we've got two more. As the garbage can or garbage truck <laughs> drives away. And now we extend it to all humans across the world in whatever situation they might be in. As we know, this pandemic is, is spreading. May we extend this to the human race, to all of us, all gender identities, all sexual identities, all ethnicities, all nations, all cultures. May you be happy. May you be well. May you be comfortable and at peace. And for all of us, may we be happy. May we be well. May we be comfortable and at peace. And then the final one is for all beings and the earth itself and our place in it. 
amongst everyone else and everything else. May we be happy. May we be well. May we be comfortable and at peace all together. Amen and amen and all the things. Um, I will record a separate podcast with a slower lo loving kindness meditation because it is really, uh, I love it so much. Um, and it really helps me. Like I said, when I'm not in a super triggered state or like it's not as helpful for me when I'm having a panic attack or an anxiety attack in my, you know, I'm not really present. Um, but with like my pretty consistent anxiety levels, it is really helpful to kind of, you know, bring me down. Um, and it just reminds of, reminds us, excuse me, of our connectedness to each other and the entire earth. And I think as we're talking about social, you know, distancing and stuff like that, like staying home as much as we can, um, it can be hard to remember the connectedness part, you know? Um, and I think this meditation really helps with that. So I'll put out something else uh, with that meditation just separately so you can practice if you'd like. Yeah, um, and then I'll end with this prayer. And again, if you're going out, you know, and frequenting restaurants, just make sure you tip folks super well. Um, I'm gonna be going into work tomorrow because I can't work from home and I need money and, you know, capitalism and things. Um, and so, yeah, if you're going out, just be aware, wash your hands, all that stuff, and, and tip your people well, and and let's watch out for each other, you know? Let's pay attention to the older folks, um, the folks who are immunocompromised, who have lower immune systems that we may not even be aware of our, in our lives and are our friends. So to end, um, I'll say this prayer, which has been making its rounds on Twitter recently. And it goes as follows. It says, keep watch, dear creator, with those who work or watch or weep this night and day. And give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, O creator. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous too. And all, all, for love's sake. Thanks, y'all, for tuning in. And be well. Know you're not alone. And we are with you in this time. And, um, yeah, just DM us if you have any prayer requests or if you say it differently, if you want any thoughts to share um, that you want us to make space for, please do that. And um, yeah, we'll be around. So don't be strangers. We won't be. We love you.